Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm going to be doing something that you probably already know from in the title, but I'm going to be fixing the face ID that was lost during a repair. I have people reach out to me all the time for this repair and they can definitely send it in so that I can do it for them and recover it. This repair is for those that have torn like the flex cable or damaged it in any way anywhere on the, the uh, proximity sensor assembly on any of the newer iPhones where if something's damaged like that the face ID goes out and that's kind of important it's uh, convenient to be able to unlock your phone and other things with your face and so um, that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video as you can see here the face ID is not working we need to take the uh, proximity sensor simply out and examine it and as you can see here whenever the repair was done the flex cable that face ID was you know, scratched up and dented and this piece right here is is what we need to uh, salvage and having a little piece of tape over this doesn't help either right over here. So one of the things that I like to do is put some caption tape down on the speaker to hold it to the flex to kind of give myself an anchoring point when I go to desolder this. Now you can desolder the uh, loudspeaker if you'd like, but I, I find that it, it helps hold, to hold on to something to have it there. You can see how hot this, this heat plate is. The uh, alcohol that I'm dropping on it won't even evaporate it, literally can't touch it, it's so hot. And here's some solder. So you can see how, how hot it is, that's the temperature that this heat plate is at. When working on this particular issue with the face ID, it's important to have some type of background in soldering so that you can understand the amount of solder that you might need so that you don't have too little or too much. These flex cables are extremely delicate and uh, but can take quite a bit of heat um, when it comes to soldering as you'll see here. So making sure that everything that's important is out of the way. I'm going to be able to set this flex cable uh, down carefully on the surface here and using tweezers getting down right to the base I'm going to be able to grab it and as the solder liquefies, it'll just fly right off. This is the new flex cable, but I need to replace the uh, this component which isn't coded to the phone which with the one that is. It takes about 10-15 seconds typically. And there we go. So here's the original with the damage flex there. I'm going to grab onto the base and we'll push it down onto the heat plate holding perfectly onto that base and again maybe 10 seconds or so it, the solder should liquefy and allow us to pull it off. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of flux to the uh, new flux cable that's going to be receiving the original Face ID chip. And what I like to do is, is gently, and then I'll touch the flux cable carefully to the heat plate just so it's not so, uh, so that it spreads out evenly. And as you can see here, I'm adding new solder to the solder joints on the chip. I'll carefully align the chip, making sure it's in the correct orientation. Nudging it with the tweezers if I need to in either direction. And you really need a steady hand for this part. You can see even I have a shake there. 
basically I'm gonna put it on the heat plate and you'll kind of see it all kind of suck down into position once it gets there you go now it kind of solidifies you can nudge it with the tweezers if you'd like but sometimes you might nudge it too much so just uh, just play it by the visual sight and we can remove the uh, captain tape that I use to protect the new sensor on the new flex cable and if it's sticking too much I use some isopropyl alcohol try not to touch the, uh, the face ID portion with the alcohol because it, it, it could get into the sensor there and uh, mess with it so that it doesn't read the, uh, the face ID properly. We'll also peel back the captain tape that was holding the flex cable to the speaker. And then all we have to do from that point is reassemble and test. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're in need of this repair and can't find anyone to do it, you can always mail it to me and I will fix it for you. You can find uh, information on mailing your device in at fixedphones.com. That's F-I-X-D phones.com. And you too can get it fixed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.